Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I saw a video today from the Economic Ninja. If you guys haven't seen his channel, he primarily plays in finance and real estate. And I really like the guy. Like he's entertaining. He's very upbeat. He's got a lot of energy. He's the absolute antithesis of me and my sort of calm run the middle of the road demeanor. But he referenced an article on the housing market out of the zero hedge. And you know, I love the zero hedge. So let's run over there. So he referenced this US pending home sales crash by most on record. Existing home sales crashed, but new home sales rebounded in November, which leaves today's pending home sales as the deciding vote and just how apparently dismal the U.S. housing market really is. I'm not saying that the housing market isn't slowing and things aren't coming to a halt, but I think really what we're seeing is stagflation. And I don't think this article entirely nails it because what, it, what he in particular in the video didn't reference is the state of the inventory for the U.S. housing market. People are still buying homes. Like, I'm very close with a lot of realtors here. I see people buying stuff. It's still happening. It's not like transactions aren't going on. No, they aren't at the euphoric, prismic, absolute peak that we saw back over the summer. Things have come down to more of a normal level. But I really believe a lot of this can be caused by inventory. Here are trading economics, United States total housing inventory. This is for this year. Naturally, in January and February, we were super low. We saw a spike up in the summer, which is the U.S. housing selling season. What happens? It happens in the spring, and it happens in the summer, and then things slow through the winter because people don't want to have to dork around with cold snow and other stuff. People traipsing in their house. People don't want to go out and look at houses when it's cold. Like you want to get out and you want to do it when it's warm and all that kind of stuff. So we have a selling season. This chart reflects that. Also, take a look at this tail end that's fallen off here. Here's October. And into November, it dropped off a friggin' cliff. Like there are no houses for sale. Let's run over here and look at this stats one. Or sorry, we are in the stats one. Let's look at the summary one, which makes it a little bit bigger. So we can see that month over month, the houses that are for sale are dropping. And this isn't a relatively new trend. We are short houses in this country. Let's take a look. Here's the 25 year average or 25 year historical chart. Look at this trend line, just down, down, down. Even back in 2005, 2007, 2008, look at the number of houses that were for sale. God, it's like so much more than what we have now. This is why people, people can't find stuff to buy. Are you going to sell your house that you've got a reasonable mortgage on at 3% to go out and find something that you have to severely compromise on to buy at a 7%? No, that doesn't even make walking around sense. You're going to look at the misses and you're going to be like, hey, we're hanging out here until the market shifts or changes. And if sentiment is, hey, it's going to crash down, then hey, we're all, oh, we're going to get a deal. I'm going to hold. You're not going to put your house on sale. Oh, I'm not going to get enough for it. I'm not. People aren't selling their homes. They're staying put. The, the housing market is just sort of flattened. It's not cratering. It's coming down from these euphoric crazy highs. And that's your comparison number. Yeah, it's going to look like it's crashing. It's not. It's just leveled off. And there's no houses for sale. The other thing that's going on, and that article went on to say that new home sales were like, had bolstered up. Yeah, you've got new inventory. You've got new stuff coming to the market. But not everybody can afford that. So, you know, and those home builders, they're not necessarily cutting prices. They're giving you upgrades and some other stuff. But there's more inventory there. There's new stuff coming on the market. It's interesting. It's exciting. It's something somebody wants to move into. If you look at a 70, 60, 50 year old home, and it's more than what you're paying for the house you have now, like not as exciting. U.S. housing starts slowed to an annual pace of 1.427 million last month from 1.43. So not a massive drop. Uh, and there was 1.49 in September. So builders are pulling back. They see things slowing. They're seeing that they're having to give more upgrades and whatnot. But some of their houses are moving. The housing market isn't in the absolute toilet like you're being told. It is slowed, absolutely. But it is not crashing. There's just nothing for sale. People aren't moving. That's why. So mortgage brokers are freaking out. Real estate agents are trying to be like it's crashing. It's trying to get people motivated to run and find all these deals. Absolutely go out. If you're going to make an offer, make a disrespectful offer, offer way low. The people that have to sell, you might be able to steal something from them. But on the whole, there's just not a lot out there to buy. And that's why you're seeing the numbers that you're seeing. And nobody's reporting this. Everybody's like, oh, it's just a crash. and It's, the... it's not. Lending standards were way better this time. People are well capitalized that are in their homes. They have great rates. They don't have motivation to move. They don't have motivation to list their house. 
Now, if you see if you see the inventory spike, absolutely, then we're crashing because people there will be an oversupply. Right now, there is more demand than there is supply, and I guarantee you, prices come down. People are going to come in and, and buy up a bunch of this. Stuff. So they're waiting. Right now, the housing market is just kind of doing this. It's not doing this. Do not think that the housing market is crashing. It's not. There are no houses for sale. I'll catch you guys in the next.